Good morning everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Ganella here. Welcome back to my channel to another video. I think we're doing a vlog today. Just let's see how it goes. Right now, I'm in my kitchen as you can see. Dish, uh, the washing machine is just finished. I am going to put it out, but it's a fairly gloomy day. So fingers crossed it doesn't rain. Another news, I bought this from Tesco's at some point um and i need some bread so i thought i'd just try it out i literally have just um done the mixing in the thermomix and now it's got to rest for a couple of hours it is half nine so not too bad i've got the dishwasher on i'm gonna leave this here i'm gonna quickly just put this out it's mainly trousers and then I'm going to go play with well, Ozzy. Forget that. It's literally just starting to rain. So I'm going to have to put it in the dryer. Um, if you don't know, it's impossible to dry clothes in this house. Everything just stays wet for days. If I try and put it on a um, drying ra rack, you know what I mean? And obviously the heating's not on anymore. So anyway. Hmm. Myself lost in all conversations, oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken. Because you glue all the pieces back together, yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better, yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever, and I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever it's almost time for ozzy's nap so we come up here and while i make the beds he has a little walking around he loves being up here and he plays with the books and then i put him to bed okay beds are made you playing by the way you guys we cut his fringe it looks awful this afternoon someone's actually coming to cut it cut his hair properly so that will be interesting um made alex's bed as well now i'm gonna change ozzy's nappy and get him to um nap. so ozzy is in bed gonna do what I always do tidy up just quickly made a cake it's like a basic lemon cake I did it in the thermomix it's like a guided recipe but it's got the usual stuff in it anyway I have a friend coming over this afternoon and um, yeah I thought I'd quickly make a lemon cake lemon sponge so yeah it's going in the okay. oven so I've done all the washing up damn I just realized I did not empty the dishwasher. You know when you think, I've just finished doing everything. No, I haven't. But anyway, I'll do that in a minute. I've got that done. Got this loaf of bread. I, you know, punched it down and now it's going to rise again. Cake is in the oven. I did. The trousers are dry and folded. The lounge is tidy. So, yeah, I was going to say... I'm going to sit down now and wait for Paul to come home for lunch. But no, I'm going to empty the dishwasher first. I've got in this little bowl some condensed milk and some lemon juice, which I'm going to mix together. And I'm also going to add some water. I wonder if I should go for milk. I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Hold on. I've just mixed in some milk. And I think actually, guys, if you are 
before ever to do this remember to mix the lemon juice with the condensed milk really well first because otherwise the moment you put in normal milk it's going to curdle so anyway but what i'm going to use this for is to drown the cake basically going to poke holes in it and um yeah drop it down it hopefully it will taste nice in the meantime i better start on lunch i'm just going to make some basic very basic quesadillas so i've got cheese and ham here i've also got some chicken left over and some feta so what i might do is chicken and feta because the chicken is very plain and then just ham and cheese and i like adding either this mayo or a bit of this one just give it more flavor in case you have never made quesadillas you're missing out mine are very basic but first i'm going to show you what i do first put some sauce on you can use ketchup sweet chili sauce whatever takes your fancy i've put a mix of both of these of the perinase and the garlic sauce and now you're going to put your fillings now there's two methods you can either fill the tortilla completely with filling and then put another tortilla on top i prefer to just put it on half and fold it and don't be afraid to squish it you kind of want it to glue slightly which is why these sauces really help or any sauce um okay so you're going to put a bit of butter and that's not dirt it's just scratched um i'm actually going to put a little bit of ghee just to butter the bottom of it and then you can put it on. I said I'm adding a little bit of ghee. You actually don't have to put anything in the pan because this, the tortilla doesn't really stick to the pan or you can use spray oil or olive oil, whatever you want. I like adding a little bit, bit of uh, butter or ghee. It makes a nice like crust, makes the crust on the outside a lot nicer i'll show you in a bit here's the other one just cheese and ham i went for the same sauces and what i'll do is i'll cook them both and then paul and i will share both of them so we get the different flavors this is particularly nice as well at christmas when you have leftover turkey you can put turkey cranberry sauce oh stuffing all the things oh my god it's so good as well um with anything like um, mincemeat, bolognese kind of thing. So delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna leave it here until Paul arrives because they don't take very long to cook. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep the rest of the so stuff. I made a quick fruit salad for Paul and I to have. I did put some lemon juice on the bananas so they won't go dark. And we'll just share it from the bowl for Keech. So I've just melted the ghee slightly. Don't worry too much. Now you just pop them. Usually fits two. There you go. And you leave them to toast on both sides. I'll show you the end result. So the cake has just come out of the oven. I don't know what happened there. It looks amazing. It was so beautiful. So I'm going to stab it a couple of times. I have have my cake tester thing so I could I don't think that would be big enough uh, I'll just do loads of this um, go. god it's a beautiful cake While it's still warm, gonna there it goes, just all soaking in. I'm hoping this is gonna 
make it taste even more amazing but we'll so see this little beauty is about to go in the oven it said spray the top loosely with a bit of water sprinkle flour and then do these cuts and now it's gonna go in the oven these out so these are done nice and crunchy on top Delicious. cheese and ham quesadillas look at that and chicken and feta quesadillas now don't come for me if this is not how quesadillas should be. This is what I've been doing for years. So yeah, anyway, it will taste amazing. All is home. We're about to have our lunch. This is how it turned out, nothing special. And uh, someone's still sleeping. This is one of my favorite times of the day where it's just me and Paul. We just chat, have our lunch in quiet, peaceful. Just sat here enjoying the peace and quiet and listening to the bird, you guys. Paul's gone back to work. Someone has just started to stir. He's gone back still again, but he's starting to wake up. So I'm just making the moment, the most of this moment. I am editing a video, which you would have seen by now, but I'm just sat here enjoying the quiet. I have just received a next order. I'll open that in a bit and show you as well. But yeah, I'm just going to finish editing my video and then I'm going to tidy up the kitchen again. Okay, I've just answered some of your comments. I try and answer as many as I can, but you know, since having Aussie, I don't get as much time as I wish. I had, oh, look at this loaf. Oh, it looks amazing. I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack. But the cake, you guys, <gasps> Paul and I couldn't resist. We had a slice each. It tastes so delicious, super moist, not overwhelmed. I didn't put like loads and loads of lemon into that little syrup that I made. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna quickly load the, oh, bloody fly you're gonna die so anyway i'm gonna quickly tidy this up before ozzy gets up and i think my washing is done as well so oh, i managed to, to fold all the clothes they're all ready to go upstairs so when i go and get alex not alex oscar in a bit he uh, he's still asleep i'll take them but that means now I've got time to uh, open the next okay. bag. The first thing that I have is a duvet cover. So it will look like this. This would be for Alex's bedroom because he has the white bedding. Let's touch it. Well, I don't like the way that feels out, actually. It doesn't feel very soft or anything. I don't know. I don't know if it looks... It, I mean... I love the way it's got that nautical, but also boyish feel, but I don't know. I'm not, now that I'm looking at it, looks a bit, I don't know. Hmm. This is, I think it's 20 pounds. It's called New Key Stripe. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it would look good in his bedroom. What else? Got him some more trousers. One more pair of trousers for school. Um, hopefully those will be okay. And another jumper for school. Um, this, I thought, um, he's got one there actually, not drying on the rack, but I don't want to put it in the dryer. But um, this is that kind of material. Um, I just think that's a little bit better for like spring and autumn. So I just got him another one, twelve pounds. They're not particularly cheap, but the the other ones he usually wears are really um, inside. They're like flannel, not flannel, like fleece. So it's too much for now. But uh, just wearing the little polo shirt, he would be cold. So because um, he does feel the cold a bit. So anyway that what's this 
Oh, I ordered a load of hats for to try on Oscar. Let me just get so them out. I ordered two of the same, which is obviously a mistake. But these, so you get, these are the, um, what do they call them? Does it say on there? They're for the Queen's Jubilee thing. I thought they're really cute. Let me just open them. There we go. I thought that was really cute. It's got like London stuff. Um, there you go. And then it's got a little cap. Uh, I thought that was really cute. This is size three to four. He has a big melon. But the sizes I can find is one to two and three to four. That doesn't seem to be much two to three. So I thought I'll give this a try and see. But obviously, I ordered two of the same, so I'll be sending one back at least. I also got one of these, like, sun protection, sun safe, swim hat. Um, this one's from Bowden. I don't know, it all depends. And these one are a bit more plain. The same style as this, but it's just, like, denim and dark blue. I'll show you once I open them. I also ordered some of these footbeds. You guys know I live in these. Um, just thought I'd go something a little bit different. So I went for animal print, but I also got some with the double thing. So you guys know that I wear these at home all the time. And if it's a quick in and out, it's fine. But if I'm walking to school, I need a little bit more in the second strap means that they're a lot more comfortable to walk in so yeah i'm going to try them both and see but this is what i got so far there's other stuff coming i ordered a cushion you know with bits of pink i told you about it that i was doing something with this sofa so when it gets here i'll show you another day but yes let me see what i'm gonna keep though i'm keeping both of these so the animal print ones are £22, so they've gone up £2 from last year. Um, those are just the next one. Uh, they're from Next and they have all different patterns. And then these are from Long Tall Sally um, and these are £24. So I'm keeping these as well. That's me sorted for the summer. And I'm definitely sending back the duvet I don't like it that's the extra hats these I'll try on Aussie when he comes um so these I'll try on Aussie when he wakes up um, yeah um I want Alex to try the trousers because they're a different type the same color but different type so um I'll have him try that and I'm keeping the jumper which I'm going to take upstairs so yeah Look who's finally awake. He likes a few minutes uh, once he wakes up. Don't go and get him straight away. He gets in a right crump. So he just needs a few minutes to come to. He <laughs> looks cute with his new haircut. It's not you, Paul. I oh, know. <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. God, it's a lot of what looks very after-esque at times there. I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, can you say hi? Are you talking? Here's the other one. Hey, hey Alex. They're vying for position on the camera, aren't they? You get the You're all on top of me. Yeah. Apart from your dad, obviously. <laughs> I'll back up. Dad. Oh, we're all there. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, guys, it's nine o'clock. So Alex and I have been playing um, Nintendo Wii, um, Super Mario. And yeah, I haven't done any of this. We ate leftovers, the pasta that I cooked on Sunday. You would have seen that in my previous video. Yeah, I had also my... Uh, Amazon deliver, delivery and I wanted to show you a couple more things that I got in um, so they're new what's the word new subscriptions chia seeds I just bought that in bulk so there is 500 grams in here I was completely out 
and also Itsu Crispy Seaweed Thins. These are for Alex. He absolutely loves these. I did also get, this is the method that I get every month. It's peach and pink pepper. I absolutely love the smell of that. And the other thing I also got was the coffees that I always get, you know, the pods. So that right, was now it. Now I'm going to concentrate on giving this a quick clean up so I can relax for the rest of the evening. Um, yeah. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.